Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Oxfu, and... Da da da! We've got some really epic music going in the background. But last time I left you guys, last time I left you guys, when I left you guys, uh, we were about to, I think we are going to still, we were about to take on a Mars Jin who is right behind us, so let's see. Oh my god, what's going on? Yes, we are fighting him. Um, so that sometimes this will happen. When you run into Jin, you will actually... Sorry, one second, I'm resetting my timer to stop, reset, and start. There we go. Sometimes you will have to fight them in order to get them to join your side, so usually what I'll do is I'll set... Uh, whatever Jin that I have so I can just do a quick summon and do a lot of damage to him now Garrett's actually gonna be quite useless in this because he's got high fire resistance um, because he's a Mars Jin. but we're still gonna try it and unfortunately we can't we don't have an element that's strong against him like fire's weak against him. I think it. I think Earth's actually strong. Against, like no, it's not strong against him, but it's stronger than anything Garrett's gonna do right now because he's got huge defense against fire. But I'm still gonna be using Synergy to try to get him because if you take too long, these guys will actually run. Like usually, what happens is they run the first time I fight them, and I have to go out and fight them again and lose health. Oh, hey, we got him in the first try. Because I think, I don't know, it gets really easy near the end of the game because it's just like, oh, one summon, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> or something like that. It might be a couple summons, but their HP is really high for a single enemy. Especially one that has a chance of running. You got it? Wow, that's pretty impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for others like it. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I never watched the A-Team or anything, so I'm guessing what I should make Mr. T's voice sound like. And we'll push this over and it'll make a neat little shortcut for us. Is there anything else down here? No, just the cave-in. Alright. Trying to think also because what you may or may not have been noticing is I have actually been turning on and off the motion blur blending thing whenever we've exited and ex and entered places so I'm actually going to turn it on right now and you won't even oh, except for my mouse cursor you won't even have noticed oh, wonder what this place could be Billabin oh that's a neat little tree it's a tree but it almost looks like a man that's that's crazy, that's crazy, that's that's just ugh, that's cr wait wait yeah I know it almost looks like a living person but that's crazy talk it couldn't really be a man because we could read its mind right help me somebody oh my god it must be a man did you see the tree at the entrance yeah what's up with that that tree was once a man he came to our village under a curse. His last words were that he had offended the sacred tree. <gasps> oh my god. We ended up like this because of Lady McCoy's foolishness. If only she hadn't wanted to live like a queen. Lady McCoy? Jack McCoy's wife? Her daughter? Welcome to Billabin. Please just ignore that strange tree out front. Many brave warriors have been sent to Kalima. Travelers needn't worry. That makes me worry, man. That makes me worry. Something changed in the eruption. Yeah, all sorts of strange creatures lurk in every forest and mountain. The explosion must have been a sign of some big disaster. I'm scared. No, I wanted to check the pond. I can't check the Let me check the... Ugh! Fine, I won't check the pot. How's that? Uh, anything in here? Nope. Any... No. 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 Anything in here? No. Oh, fine. I don't care if you can't focus on your cooking. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. Damn it. I think there's something we can get in this end, but I can't remember. 
21 coins for a room. Yes, I would like to stay. I would like my synergy back. Thank you very much. I hope you slept well. Have a nice trip. Yep, now I'm going to go talk to your wife. You can't reach Kalima, no matter how you how you try. Why? Any travelers heading east are stuck here until the road opens up. Until then, I'm going to make lots of money. Ho 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 ho. Make a lot of money at the gala. <laughs> a curse on Kalima. What a scary development. <laughs> scary development that makes me money. I don't believe in curses from ancient trees. I only believe in curses from people. Grrr. Did you you heard a sound, right? You heard it, right? I can't hear anything over the growling of my stomach. I'm dizzy with hunger. I think that's what he said. Ha! Huh, that's it! I just want to scream with hunger. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. But I still have to smile. Boy, it's tough being a businessman. My nose itches. <laughs> why, do I why did I tell you guys that? That doesn't matter to you. <laughs> we came here because Lady M Lord McCoy was looking to build his wife a palace. I wonder if they stopped because of the kiss. The kiss. I came to Billy been hoping to sell furniture. Instead, all I get is a palace nobody's building and a restaurant that won't serve me fo my food. I think that big tree deep in the forest looks suspicious. Yeah? I see why they call that big tree in Kolima Forest the sacred tree. Do you believe a tree spirit can curse a man? It's hard not to believe it after you've seen that tree out front. I don't care who does it, just undo that curse now! Just undo that curse meow! Start cooking already! I've had all the customer complaints I want! I am really worried about Kalima. I was born there, you know. I can't even focus on my cooking. Father, mother, I hope they're alright. Hello, mother. Hello, father. <laughs> I wish I could go home and see them right away. Should I just forget that I'm a newcomer and just start cooking? Hey, Mr. Head Chef, are you going to cook or not? Customers are waiting. I can't wait to see today's special. Yippee! In all my years, I've never had to wait this long. Yippee, is it ready yet? My mouth is watering just thinking about it. It's gonna be a while, old guy. Oh, man. Might as well go upstairs and check who's up here. Oh my god, it's a loop playing boy. It has been said that a fairy named Tret lives inside the holy tree. I've heard songs that tell of ancient trees developing strange powers. Maybe that power is what caused the curse. That was a crap song. It has been said that a fairy named Tret lives inside the holy tree. That's better. Oh, come on. I know there's something in here somewhere. Maybe I'm just stupid. <laughs> well, we all know that's true. Huh. <laughs> I went to Lord McCoy looking for work. I'm too scared to accept the job alone, though. Arg. He looks like a sailor, so... Oh man, I can't wait until we get to the ocean parts of this game. Those are my favorite parts of this game. But it's gonna be a while yet. There's a tower at the top of Emil that people say was built by the gods. Anyone there calls it, everyone calls it, there calls it the lighthouse. I call it the, 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 the tall house. Only great adepts can enter the lighthouse of Emil. Ooh, adepts, eh? I'm gonna top, top, topple over this tower, this... Blech. I'm gonna topple over the statue of of Lady McCoy Hussein. <laughs> Too soon? Nah. Lady McCoy's hidden no McCoy's hidden warehouse. Do not enter. Too bad. I entered. I'm gonna push over another statue of your beautiful wife. Ha! Huh. And ready? No, no. And ready? Huh. And ready? Wait. Oh, that's as far as I can move it? Ah, that's lame. I wonder how we get there. It's a mystery. 
Dog McCoy has been quite frightened since the incident. You don't say. Cursing tree or trees cursing people to turn into trees. We really see any snow alarm beauty bean. The snow is already piling up in email and the weather is freezing. If I were you, I'd wait until spring to go there, but I don't have the time. When spring comes, I want to go see that angelic Mia again. <laughs> I hear a large group crossed over Goma Range heading toward Emil. <gasps> Could that be the people we're going after? You must be mad, it's almost winter and you're going to Emil! Well, enough of that. Okay, nothing there. I know there's something we can get in here, guys. Well, I know we can go this way and get something. Because, you know what? You know what? Isaac used Whirlwind! It was super effective! And then we were tossed out of the random battle. Oh, we still have to move the statue. Tip over McCoy Hussein! And I think we just get this guy. Yes, I was right. We don't have to fight. And Gus joined Ivan. And Gus basically works the same as the bandit sword. Hits a couple of times for less than great, less than stellar damage. Oh yeah, I forgot we could set these guys already. I'm going to start messing around with Jin once we get two of each. Um, but until then, there's really no reason. Um, unless we have to use it for a cert, or have to change around for certain synergy or something like that. Ask me anything about armor! What kind of armor you looking for? I don't have money for any of that. Come in, ta welcome, take a look at our fine weapons! We don't have any money for any of that either, jeez. Actually, I'm gonna give a battle axe to... Garrett. Just because, you know, might as well, he can't do shit right now. Oh man, a heavy mace. Ah, oh, my eyes! Heavy mace! I remember, have you tried heading southeast from here? No. The road is blocked, so you might as well not even bother! I heard they've put up a massive barricade. The road to Kalima is blocked now, as permanently Lord McCoy's orders. Ah, oh, the, the jerk. Jeez. Right, he, who are you fools? Have you seen the barricade we built on the road to Kolima? No. It's off to the east if you want to see it. It was a rush job, so I had to take some shortcuts. What? T no, tell me more. Tell, tell me more. I'm glad I didn't know Kalima was involved in that incident. If I had, I wouldn't have done it no matter what. Oh, come on, you're not even going to tell me. The lumber I ordered from Kalima disappeared after the incident. If things like this are going to he keep happening, maybe we should stop building that palace. You think? You already got a palace. Are you telling me that I'm responsible for this? I didn't say anything of the of the kind, jeez. That curse of the tree spirit is a foolish old superstition. I just want to live in a big palace. If all this trouble was caused by that sacred tree, then all we have to do is cut the tree down. Damned fools. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Sure, I had them cut the tree down so I could build my palace. But if anyone is a victim, it's me. I've been waiting for my palace for months. God. I can't live in our stately mansion anymore. I need a f palace like a real woman. <laughs> the Lord will only meet with brave and mighty warriors. You don't seem like the type. Think you're up to it? Hell yeah. Hmm, I see. You seem pretty confident. What do you say? They look a little young to get involved in this ugly mess. Nobody else seems up to the challenge, though. What do we have to lose? <laughs> Just a three lit young punks. 
All right, I should let you pass. Follow me. <laughs> Follow me. All right, and somewhere in here is something that we can get from a chest as well, but I'm not going to look for it. Probably going to go come back a long time from now and look through everything. You want to see Lord McCoy? Follow the red carpet. Oh, yes. One thing I do want to look at is... Is it this one? I don't think so, but we can look. Isaac, search the bookcase. There's a sheet of paper titled Sweetie's Gifts. It's the list of, list of gifts McCoy, Lord McCoy has bought for his wife. It's pretty long. No kidding. And the other thing I want to look at is... This is Lady McCoy's room, so don't you go be touching anything! My lady was renowned far and wide for her beauty. That's why my lord is so anxious to please her regardless of cost. Because she's a trophy wife? Will I ever find someone to make my dreams come true like my lady did? My dreams of money! Oh, someday I want to sleep in a silk nightgown like this. <gasps> oh no, this nightgown has a hole. My lady will be furious. No, I love this. I love this. Get ready. Isaac peeked into the wardrobe. There's a silk negligee. Isaac, put that back! <laughs> Going for a little, like, little cross-dressing, eh, Isaac? Or maybe you just want it for a little something-something for yourself? Alright, well, I'm actually going to see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Fu, and we will go see Lord... Lord McCoy of bibbidi bobbidi Booville and talk to him about Colima Village. I mean... We might as well since we're here. So, again, I will see you next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mioxville. Take it easy.